Hi, me again with EAC. In this video, we'll talk about the new and improved rendering capabilities in Creo Parametric 3.0. There are many times that engineers and designers need a quick rendering to show off to management or customer. Typically, these don't need to be advanced renderings. There's no need to set up advanced lighting structures or complex backgrounds. Sometimes people just wanna see what the design will look like in real life. Getting a great photo rendering used to take a lot of time. This is why we see a lot of engineers grabbing a screenshot of something like this coffee maker and calling it good. Even though it may be engineering accurate, it doesn't provide a good representation of how the product will actually look. Creo Parametric 3.0 has something called active rendering. It helps users get exceptional rendering results very quickly. And Creo 3 comes preloaded with appearance types that are easy to apply. Let's take this coffee maker from drab to fab using Creo Parametric 3.0's active rendering tools. Let's start by applying some different finishes to this design. First, let's apply a red metallic paint to the coffee maker housing. And let's see, how about a polished cherry wood green finish for the handle? Next, let's follow that up by applying a satin aluminum finish to the metal parts of the design. And finally, let's make the dial a red frosted plastic. After applying the finishes, we can change the display style to shaded with reflections and instantly turn on active rendering. Creo 3 gives you great results right out of the box. With very little effort and very little time, Creo Parametric 3.0's active rendering functionality can help you improve the way you communicate your designs. It dramatically reduces the time it takes to prepare a quick rendering to convey your design to coworkers, management, and customers. Creo 3 is here. You should call us to see a demo, download a trial, or buy it today.